Lene, and I'm back with a new video. If you are already part of my squad, thanks, and I appreciate all the love. And if you haven't joined the squad, what are you waiting for? Go ahead, press pause, and click subscribe. And then when you come back, go ahead and tap the bell so you can get notifications every time that I drop a new video. Alrighty, I'm not one for a whole bunch of talking, so let's get into it. Okay, so the video for today will be my Fenty follow-up, as you guys have already seen in the title. For those of you who have yet to watch my original Fenty first impression, I called it a review, but it was really a first impression. If you haven't watched the video, please use the links up top to find that video so that you can be well informed about the product that I'm talking about today. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail with every product because I did that previously. I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis of my overall thoughts from the product after using it for one month. Bring you guys are closer so you can see my skin. Again, you don't know. I am pimple free. It looks good. So I'm going to start reviewing with my total cleanser here. Again, all Rihanna's products are a two-in-one. This one was a makeup remover as well as a cleanser, and it does just that. Some pros about it, I love that it leaves my skin feeling just renewed. I don't have that feeling where my skin is dry. I don't feel like it's just sucked all the moisture out of my face. It doesn't strip my skin, which is a plus, and I love it because it means that a lot of the ingredients in it are not harsh, which is absolutely great. Um, it does take off my makeup. For example, right now, I have on a full beat. It will take off my foundation, my contour, all my powder, all that stuff. However, a con is that I find that it doesn't take off my eyeliner as well as my mascara well. I do find that I will originally do a cleanse, take off my makeup, and then I find that I'll have to use either like a makeup wipe or some type of other remover to remove my mascara and my eyeliner just really scrub and get in there. So that is the only con to this. Also, in my first video, I said that this did not have a scent. I lied. After using this, it totally has a scent. And I don't know if it's because I've been using more product or what, but I didn't notice the scent at first, but there's definitely a scent on this now. Next. Next up, I have the Fat Water, and it is a toner, as well as, um, it's a toner, well, it's a toner serum to be exact. And again, it's supposed to shrink your pores and even at your skin tone, brighten your face. And one thing after I put this toner on, I noticed that, you know, my face does feel brighter, my pores, you know, they do look smaller. So no complaints here, and what does it say? Um, reduces the look of dark spots and evens out the skin tone. Again, I don't have really many dark spots. However, I just noticed that my face is visibly brighter after putting it on. And again, it's still, I use my fingers to pat it on with. It goes on evenly smooth. I find that, you know, just when I undo this, I just need just one, two, three drops and it's good to go and it covers my entire face. So this one's still good. As you see, I've used the, decent amount of it and it settles nicely um, one thing I like about it is that you know sometimes when you have products you may see like a film of oil or another product at the top um, with this I haven't experienced that it always looks just like this there's no oil there's no other ingredients sitting at the top it's simply just this so no complaints with this one last but certainly not least will be the SPF moisturizer let me get some full name for this Okay, it doesn't say it on here, but it's the SPF, um, the moisturizer. So again, SPF is your sunscreen, and then also moisturizes. This is still my favorite product out of the entire line. I love it because it moisturizes my skin, and also I can, you know, wear just this and then be about my day. Um, I love it, especially because it doesn't leave a white cast. I don't get that white film like I would normally would with sunscreen. So, um, and once I mix it in, I can just see that it's really going on sheer like. And again, I, I love that it doesn't leave the film and also doesn't smell like sunscreen. It's a plus. Now, this one is scented. Um, it's not heavily scented. It's a, mm, if there was like light, medium, and heavy, I would say it's in between light and medium. There's definitely a scent. It's a fragrance. You notice that it's there, but it's nothing overpowering. I'm really sensitive to scent smells, and they make me sneeze, and they really bother me. So if I was truly overpowered by this, I would not be using this on a daily basis, and uh, you would know. But yeah, so I really like it. I love that it has the removable cartridge. 
so when I need to replace it, I can do so. And I believe it's only like 12 bucks to replace it. It's truly affordable. Um, and I really like this one because it's a standalone product. Sometimes when I'm not using the cleanser or the toner, I flat out just use this. If I've had several days where I haven't worn makeup and I just want to put on some SPF, I'm about to run a quick errand, two pumps, and then I'll put it on my face and then I'm good to go. And it's a great standalone product. So a lot of folks have been asking me, how do I feel about the line overall? Overall, I really like the line. I feel that for all three of these products, I got them for $75. I feel like it was very adequately priced. Um, if you know anything about skincare, skincare is very expensive, okay? One thing I will say is that this is a beginner skincare line. This isn't necessarily for those who have um, severe skin issues. If you have major discoloration, this may not be the product for you. If you have extremely sensitive skin, this may not be the product for you. If you need something for the, to combat heavy uh, bags, if you want something, something that really should be maybe for like an eye cream or things like that. If you have, mm, it's just not for you. This is very beginner-ish and it's also for people with relatively good skin. I have relatively good skin. I haven't had um, a legit breakout in like years. Um, and I may, you know, get my regular, you know, hormonal period um, cycle pimples. Again, I haven't had one of those in a while either. So overall, I have relatively good skin. So I just feel like this just did a really, really good job at maintaining my skin. And you know, and I use my skincare so that when you know that time of the month comes around, I don't have to worry about like, oh my gosh, is a period pimple going to appear? So as long as I'm using my skincare, I don't have to worry about that. And I feel like Fenty did just that. So again, if you have really sensitive skin, or if you need think that you need a lot more care, then this is probably not the line for you. Or if you want to use it, you can use this in conjunction with maybe something that has, you know, that is simply just a moisturizer. Because some people need an SPF and moisturizer separately. But again, it's all up to you. Oh, it probably would be really good if you use it with some eye creams or if you want to use it with maybe like a, a vitamin C or some type of oil, or some type of serum. So use it in conjunction with something or you can use it by itself if you have relatively good skin. Things that I noticed while using Fenty's um, skincare line, Fenty Skin. What I noticed in the beginning, I used it maybe about two or three days after I started using it, I noticed that I had little fine bumps here, like you know, in my forehead area. And then I had fine bumps here. I was like, oh my gosh, like am I having an allergic reaction? I don't normally have sensitive skin. I have drier skin, so I was freaking out. Um, but one thing that my friend, she's a dermatologist, what she told me is that it's called impurity bumps, or you can get an impurity pimple. And pretty much, um, well, two things happen. So one, if you get an impurity pimple, which it might be like, you know, your standalone pimples that you might get, might be big, it may have, you know, may look like a whitehead or maybe red and sore at the surface. An impurity pimple simply comes from going from one product to another. So before I was using the Mario Badescu, let me pull that out. Before I was using this um, as my skincare routine and then I switched over to the Fenty. So pretty much the impurity pimple, my body was just getting used to, you know, using the products from one line and I was using the products from another line. So my face has all these different ingredients being thrown at it and it needs, you know, to adjust and it's getting at all the impurities. So again, um, that was just a matter of use of going from one product to using another product or from not using products at all to now using products, you may also experience an impurity pimple. So if you get with one within the first week, then you're fine. And then also the fine bumps that I experienced, like, you know, like around my nose and on my forehead, those were simply pimples from fragrance. Because like I said, this one is definitely scented and then this one is lightly scented. So anytime that you have a fragrance and whether it's your makeup or your skincare, your beauty care, um, anytime that there's a scent, um, your most times your skin will react to it a little bit because you know your skin is just naturally sensitive to a certain extent. Um, some people have scented lotions, for example, this is a scented lotion that I love to use. It is a champagne toast from Victoria's Secret, but I like to use it on my hands. I use it on my legs. I use it on my arms, but I never use it on my face for that reason. 
because again, I don't want all these, you know, perfumes and things on my face because it'd be just like, imagine taking perfume and then spraying it on your face. It's a lot. And I already wear makeup, so I didn't want too many different things going on in my face. And that's exactly what this is. Essentially, it's scented, so it does make you have a reaction to it. Now, one thing that my friend said was that, you know, you will get the bumps, but they will go away in two or three days. If they don't go away within two or three days, then please discontinue using the product. So that would be my disclaimer to you. If you experience the little, little fine bumps, like a little collection, a little patch of them, um, it's normal. Your body's just reacting to the fragrance. But if they do not go away within a few days, then maybe you should stop using the product. But um, one thing that was helpful is that I did keep a little journal every day about, you know, what I noticed about the products or how my face was reacting to it. Will I continue using this product? Yes, I will. Um, first of all, I spent $75 on it. I'm gonna keep using it. But after all my products are done and empty, I will continue to use the products. I really like them. I may put other things into rotation. I will definitely keep using this one. This will run at first. I'm definitely gonna refill it. Even if I decide not to use the cleanser or the toner, I'm definitely going to use my SPF. After this, I probably will try another cleanser um, just for the simple fact that I wanted to see what I can use to, you know, get off my eye makeup. That's something that I've always been, you know, on the search for. On the quest continues. Um, one thing, if I do continue using this Fenty line, you know, later on, I will definitely add in um, your my own serum because one thing I've been doing to give you guys an honest review, I haven't used any other products with this as it pertains to skincare because I wanted to make sure that this was just a just a pure review I was using just this product nothing else because I didn't maybe the effects would have been okay well maybe I'm getting a good skin reaction how do I know if it's from Fenty or how do I know if it's from another product that I'm using so I just wanted to focus solely on Fenty um but down the line I probably would use a vitamin C serum that I have you know every um every month usually once a month I would probably do like a nice face mask and or maybe like an eye cream there's certain things like that I would you know start using um, in conjunction with this line but overall would I use it yes I will continue to use this line and if I don't continue to use it in the future this will definitely be in rotation this will definitely be one of my products um, this will be a staple that I'm going to add to my collection again this was really really good for those days where I'm getting up early in the morning for work and I didn't put anything on my face I may have on like some lashes and some lipstick I'm putting this on and I'm going why is the SPF my favorite product this is my favorite product again like I said no white cast but also because of the glow like the glow that this gives me when I'm finished using it is like no other and you're just gonna have to experience that for yourself overall this is a great entry line for Rihanna to start with she started with the basics again you have the cleanser you have the toner and then you have your moisturizer so it's your basics that you need for any skincare routine and again she did her thing she put a lot of thought into it um, it's really not that scented I know a lot of people are saying oh it's really really scented it's really not that scented and again, if you're looking to start and to get into skincare, because my women over 30, you need to start. So if you're looking for a good line to start with, then please, by all means, start with the product line. It's great products and it's greatly priced. Um, it may take a little bit long for shipping, but it's definitely, definitely worth it. And if nothing else, use the SPN. Thanks for watching guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments down below. If you've used any of the products, let me know how you like them. Let me know if you want to purchase them or if you have any other questions, please feel free to message me and I appreciate all the love and support. Now I'm actually about to use this line to go take off my makeup for the night. Have a good one guys. If you haven't already done so, please thumbs up this video and subscribe because you don't want to miss any of the videos that I have coming up for you guys. Please leave some comments and some love. Share with your friends. I really appreciate it. Bye.